It's no secret that the conflict in Ukraine has weakened economies across the European Union. In many ways, Germany has been affected more than others. In 2022, the first year of the conflict, Germany's GDP shrank by around 1.8 percent compared to 2021, and this year it is expected to shrink by 0.3 percent as high inflation and rising interest rates take their toll on the economy. There is a massive cost for Germany for a number of reasons. High dependence on uh, gas, oil and coal from Russia, the impact on energy costs, slowing demand uh, in Europe, um, lower exports for Germany, then of course confidence. Companies investing less, consumers consuming less because of very high inflation. Energy prices increased dramatically in 2022 as the country quickly diverted imports away from Russia to other more expensive suppliers, while inflation hit nearly 8 percent. But federal subsidies of around 44 billion U.S. dollars have since helped bring those numbers down. In addition, Berlin has initiated a 110 billion U.S. dollar defense budget to help beef up a historically underfunded army while also helping fund Ukraine's own defense. A giant Ukrainian flag was hoisted here in front of Munich's Palace of Justice just in the early days of the conflict as a symbol of Germany's support for justice in Ukraine. Yet Germany's support extends far beyond just that. Berlin is the second largest financial contributor to Ukraine's defense after the U.S. Earlier this month, Germany's coalition government resolved a budget crisis that maintained the allowance to increase support for Ukraine next year. Since the start of the conflict, Germany has spent nearly 8.5 billion U.S. dollars on military assistance to Ukraine and has budgeted for a further 11.5 billion in the coming years. Should more be needed, Chancellor Olaf Scholz has said the government would seek an exemption from borrowing limits. If the situation worsens as a result of Russia's war against Ukraine, for example because the situation on the front deteriorates, or because other supporters reduce their aid to Ukraine, or because the threat to Germany and Europe continues to increase, then we will have to react. Millions has also been spent to support Ukrainian refugees in Germany. So there are about 1.2 million Ukrainian refugees in Germany today. Um, more are likely to come. Um, and um, also that has seen a spending of close to 10 billion euros on uh, living expenses, on housing, on um, language courses, helping them to integrate. While these economic measures have not stopped the German economy from falling into recession, they are, arguably, saving it from a deeper one and keeping Germany safe. Natalie Carney for CGTN in Munich.